With the Ackman running a committee for FightLaunch.com, Strikeforce open workout for the CBS show on April 17th at Legends in Hollywood with truly a legend in the sport, Mr. Dan Henderson. And thanks doing? for taking a moment. Good. I am doing well, especially right now. How are you? I'm doing excellent. I'm just feeling uh, feeling great. Getting ready for my uh, fight about a month away. How excited are you to uh, to be on the CBS card as well as to be in such a great matchup that you're in? Uh, it's exciting. I mean, that's one of the main reasons that that swayed me away from the UFC was, uh, you know, strike force in their relationship with Showtime and, and CBS. You fought, as everybody knows, for Pride. You fought for the UFC. You fought all over the world. How do you rate this fight with Jake Shields as far as level of difficulty? You have obviously been battle-tested and proven throughout your career. Uh, Jake's tough. He's not, not one to underestimate at all. So it's, it's going to be a battle, and it's... Uh, you know, this one's going to be, I think, a little bit more of a chess match than, than normal, but, um, you know, it's not, not going to be a straight-out brawl. It's definitely going to be, uh, you know, who can implement their game plan a little bit better, and, and you know, I think uh, it, it'll still be real exciting for the fans, especially the, the hardcore MMA fans for sure, but, you know, the, the ideal situation is to make it exciting for all the new fans as well. What, what does it mean to you as far as your overall career? Because you're a guy, nobody could look at Dan Henderson and say, this is a guy who ducked anybody. This is a guy who took easy fights. That has never been you. What does it mean to you to have that kind of a career and it's still to be moving forward to take a fight like Jake now? Uh, what do you mean by that? You're, you, you're you continuing to stay, no, I mean Jake is up there and you've right. continued to keep that level of competition up. Well, I, I think that for me, I don't, I don't, I mean, obviously the money is great, but I do it for the challenge as well, and, and Jake's a big challenge, and, and you know, Strike Force has a lot of guys that, that definitely would challenge me, and, and you know, I'm not looking past Jake at all. So it's it's something that uh, I'm looking forward to, and I'm excited to do, and to be on CBS, it makes it even better. Yeah, it's great for fight fans. How comfortable are you at 185? Uh, I'm, you know, felt great my last fight, my last two, no, my last fight was at 185. The one before that was 205. But, uh, yeah, I feel good there. I, you know, I just, I feel fine at 205, though, also. So it's, I'm, I'm right in between. I weigh about 200, 201, so it doesn't matter. I mean, Jake gets up there as well. And a lot of 185-pounders are uh, a lot bigger than me. What are the odds you think that uh, he'll stand with you for any length of time and risk having the right hand of doom find the chin? Uh, you know, I think he's going to have to. You know, for a little bit, you can't just stand there and not not strike with me. But you know, it's uh, that's something that that I have to be real patient with, and, and not just going out there trying to knock him out the whole time. That, you know, that that ain't gonna happen. Not without getting taken down. Yeah. yeah well, you've got the takedown defense. To, not, to not when I'm out there trying to knock him out. You know, it makes it different. It's not a wrestling match. Lastly, what will the casual MMA fan that CBS hopes to garner, and obviously they do get watching on network television. What is that fan going to learn about Dan Henderson that maybe they don't know going into this? Um, you know, I guess that's a good question. I just I just hope that I come off uh, as me, you know, and, and as an exciting fighter, you know, that, that this will be the first time watching me fight and, you know, hopefully they, they come away from, from the, the event and the, the fight a fan of the sport. And that's that's one of the bigger things that excited me about coming over to Strike Force and being on CBS would allow me to really bring new fans to the sport and it, that that excites me. Gives me goosebumps right now. <laughs> goosebumps on camera with the Yakman. You heard it here first. Hey, you know what, Dan, thanks very much for taking the no time. Worries. You showing up as you I think is what any fan can hope and dream for because the you that shows up is always the you that fights. So best of luck. Dan Henderson, one of the all-time greats. April 17th on CBS. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. My pleasure.